Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at another website and this one is opticsandammo.com and we're going to determine if this is a, a legitimate website or if it's a scam and if you sh should buy here. Um, this site kind of sounds familiar and you might have seen you know this logo. Th this site is kind of unfortunate because I think it was started out with good intentions but things have gone downhill and we're gonna go take a look at the site here's the home page it's got pictures of ammunition just like their name says optics and ammo they've got binoculars range night vision uh, everything really I don't know about that um, and it up here at the top it says free returns for 60 days that's kind of weird um, that they're advertising that they take returns so easily and then they've got a variety of different things from you know optics and and like survival and cooking stuff and here's a safe here's a leopold scope um and you get down and here's some best-selling products wow a thirteen thousand dollar night vision um they've got blog posts and then down here on the footer you know it's got some testimonials it's got a map um, it doesn't, their phone number is listed here, but it doesn't say their address, and it's not immediately clear what their address is, and it says click to open a larger map. So let's do that, and it opens a map, and it says they're in Houston, Texas, but if you know Google Maps, if it had an address, it would say the address right here, but this one does not. And if we, if we scroll in, we're not, re I mean, it's the middle of a freeway. So there's no location marked. And if we scroll out, it just seems that this is a map of Houston and someone put the in the location as Houston. So it put it at the center of Houston. So there is no address here. And then if, you know, I, I wanna know who I'm dealing with. If if you look at, let's see, you know, maybe you go to the contact page, see if there's an address there. There's no address there. Um, you know, sometimes terms of service might have it. Let's do a search for Houston. It's got Houston there and there, but nowhere else. Okay, so terms, no privacy policy maybe it might it might have their address there let's do a search for Houston it's not on the page oh it's in this testimonial here I didn't even have to pay sales tax some Texas orders are sales tax exempt hmm wonder if the Attorney General of Texas knows that that they're located in Texas and not collecting sales tax in Texas probably not so I'm starting to get a little concerned um, you might go to social media Facebook is kind of problematic you have to log in but let's let's open Twitter in a new tab here's their Twitter they've tweeted three times it's been almost two years since they tweeted here's their link to their domain they've got about 3,000 followers and it says over 35,000 products on sale today. Wow. I mean, that's a lot. I mean, think of even if you have one of every product. I mean, how many, how big that warehouse would be. Um, that would be a very large warehouse. And then it, it, the account started in 2016 and it looks like, you know, they had a lot of good intentions, um, but they didn't tweet much. Let's go back to the site. What else is there? Oh, there's there's Instagram. Let's open that and see what that looks like. Um, oh, it's, yeah, they want us to log in. I don't log in to that. And let's see what else is there. YouTube. Uh, this channel doesn't have any content. So they have no videos. They have no playlists. And they were started six years ago, approximately. And their logo includes their domain. Hmm. Okay, so I'm getting a little scared. Let's let's um, let's shop for stuff and see if the prices or the shopping cart experience makes any sense. 
Wow, thirteen thousand um, dollars. Let's look at the expensive stuff. Um, yeah, and they do have thirty-one thousand products. Website's a little slow. Oh, that is one of the most expensive items. Um, so this is normally twelve thousand dollars, but they're saying they're marking it down to nine thousand dollars. Some night vision goggles, and it's got description. There is no reviews. I mean, it, I I imagine this is the cheapest place in the world for this item, but they're saying they have no reviews at all. Let's add it to our cart and see what the the shopping experience is like. Wow, it's slow. Go to the cart. And normally with, with scam websites, they have bad payment methods. Let's see if the payment methods are bad. And, and when I say bad, they, they don't have a, uh, a way to uh, get a re return or a re refund if you don't get your item. So I, I entered some information here and it's it saved it. So I'm, I'm saying I'm in California and I'm saying this is me. And I have read and agreed to the website terms and conditions. And it doesn't actually ask for a credit card here. So that's weird. It's not it's not authorizing it on this site. This site is encrypted, so I don't know why it's not doing that here. And you can see the website started in 2016 and then it it they blogged a few times and then they stopped about 2 years ago. So something bad happened or some you know some unfortunate incident is happening on this site. And again, the site we're looking at is Optics and ammo.com and when it went to authorize.net which is a real payment processor it actually crashed it says the merchant login id or password is invalid or the account is inactive hmm so it kind of seems like their account has been canceled so you probably won't be able to get through the cart i wonder if, if their inventory is real time how many of these can I put in my cart? Can I put 10,000 of them in my cart? Site's a little slow. And let's see what it does. Yeah. So it though that would be 97 million dollars. Um it, so this obviously this this company obviously doesn't have 10,000 of these $10,000 night vision goggles. Um this, I imagine this was originally a drop shipper and now they're having problems and I would definitely not order from this site. Um, I searched around and it took a while, but I searched online for optics and ammo reviews and then I found this location here. Oh, I didn't need to, didn't need to click on it. What is that? Is that a house? Yeah. So it's just a house. It doesn't have it doesn't have a business listed there. And it, it does say they were started in 2016 and their av average revenue is 69,000 approximately. That seems to be a, an estimate. But now I'm getting some information. I've I found their address and this is their phone number and this is a link to their website. Then because I know they're in Texas, I can search for their address and, oh, this is the map I just started. And I got that they, they did file taxes and they're a limited liability comp uh, corporation in Texas. And here's their, actually their taxpayer ID. And here's that address again. So everything is matching up. And 2016 was when they started. Everything kind of looks okay. I mean, you can see the address it looks like somebody's home address. And they also run Luxury Chronometer, which is like a, uh, I guess, a watch, like a Rolex or something. And so now that I know they're in Texas and they were incorporated, I can go to the Texas Corporation Commission and, and that's what I've done. And then I found their listing here and here's their ID that was on that other page. 
and here's their zip code, and I can look for their details. And they're actually active. A lot of times you'll see these are inactive or, or they haven't been paying their taxes. And here's the person's name that's the registered agent of that, um, of this uh, LLC. And here's the address again. So all this is matching up, which is good. It means I'm getting somewhere. And he's, he's a member uh, about two years ago. He updated it. So once I had his name, I searched online and this is what I came up with. I came up with the Harris County Sheriff's Office uh, website. And here's his name, Christopher Eustace. And here is the jail where I don't know if he's being held currently or if it's if that's where court is scheduled. Here's his date of birth. There was a booking date, uh, unfortunately, um, less than a year ago, so last year in 2021. And if if you are a sheriff in Texas, you can maybe you can tell me. But it here's the booking date, and I don't see an out date, so I don't know if that means he's still in jail or what. And here's the charges: theft aggregate greater than $2,500, less than $30,000, multiple. I don't know what that means. Charges, I guess. And these are all. This is the court date, which is next month. Right now, it's August of 2022. So there's a court date uh, for next in September, and he's got three charges of theft. The bond, I guess, was a hundred thousand total, or maybe a hundred thousand for each charge. So I don't know if his bond is three hundred thousand or if it's a hundred thousand. Um, fine balance due. So that's the bond. Ah, I don't know how to read this. I don't know if he, I don't know if he bonded out or if he's still in jail. But it looks like there's a a, a court date next month, unless unless they postpone it or 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 he pleads or something. Um, so it looks like at this time I would not buy anything from OpticsAndAmmo.com. I would not think of it as a real website where you can buy something and get it. It looks like they were drop shipping. Uh, but currently they're not, and it looks like he's got other things to worry about besides uh, fulfilling orders. So, so thank you very much for your time, and better luck shopping online in the future.